dog darn number 50 with a new microphone and everything. Sorry about the echo. Seems to always be something. Anyway, I feel like Walter Winchell. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Gamer and all the ships at sea. Let's go to press. Now, today we're going to talk about jerry-rigging games for other systems. Now, I've recently had to deal with that. Um, I'm sort of not really taking over the Monday group, but I'm kind of running stuff until the other guy is ready to run something else. Um, giving him a break. So, and I do not play 5th edition d d And this is basically, basically, basically this is for, mainly for uh, systems that I run. You know, I've got more esoteric systems. Adapting one thing to another. And we, I am decided we're going to use Castles and Crusades. And because that's the way I roll. It's either that or Tunnels and Trolls. And since they've been playing 5e, I think Castles and Crusades is a little easier learning curve. A lot easier learning curve. So we are going to adapt, I am going to adapt the old war horse, the Keep of the Borderlands. Now, people who know about the Keep of the Borderlands, which is frankly everybody who's ever played D&D or ran D&D, uh, it's pretty flexible. The Caves of Chaos, I mean, you got stuff going on there that you can change to whatever. Um, and it's kind of a mini sandbox. And it's a pretty good mini sandbox, actually. You've got the Keep, you got the Caves. you got that other cave, the Cave of the Unknown, which is basically, here, here's a cave, fill it. And uh, so... This is that's for D and D, and I'm using Castles and Crusades. Now that's the easy part, is adapting it to C and C because all I have to do basically is convert the armor class, and I've got a little handy dandy chart here that I use. It's a uh, AC chart that I found online, and I found it there at this place nerdomancer of dork dot wordpress dot com very handy it it covers practically all the uh, D&D type games if they're ascending armor class if they're descending armor class if they're ascending arm if they're descending armor class that starts at base 10 if they're descending armor class that starts base 9 it's even got a special category for lamentations of the flame princess because for some reason their AC starts at 12 go figure anyway all I do all you do is basically read through the module which you do you know you should do anyway uh, read through the module and uh, use the chart to change AC for more esoteric things here's 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 the thing here's where it comes into um, C and C and D and D are really really close uh, damn near you know you know, they're being called the Rosetta Stone D&D of uh, D&D uh, because you can convert real easy. And this is kind of a textbook case. All I do is go through and convert armor classes. That's it. Um, but here's how I did it. I use the AC chart, chart, chart. I use the AC chart for more esoteric things. But since this is Castles and Crusades, if it comes up with like, you know, like the Goblin Den or the Orcs or something like this, some standard monster. I'll dive back in to the Castles and Crusades book. This is the flip book, by the way, because you flip it over, there's a second book that you need to run it, which is Monsters and Treasure, which I don't have a picture for. So um, I dive into the Monsters and Treasure section and pull out what they have written for Orcs or Kobolds or Goblins or whatever and use that AC. Uh, I think it's a better way to do it. Um, I've done it before where I've converted ACs like strictly, you know, just using the chart and pretty much had my players walk all over me. I don't want to do that this time. So I use that for the more mundane monsters. Uh, anything anything out of the ordinary or I want to throw in there, then I'll go to the AC chart. Or better yet, I'll go to something like if I'm going really off the wall, I'll go to something like uh, Tome of Horrors Complete because that's for 
Swords and Wizardry, which is another great asset because Swords and Wizardry gives you both ascending and descending armor classes. Now, here's the rub. <coughs> Castles and Crusades was based originally on 3rd edition ADD. Okay, fine. Um, 3rd edition, they changed the rule of all monsters use a D8 for hit dice. And so you have variable hit dice monsters. I don't like it. I'm used to D8. I'll use D8. So I'm going to convert everything over to D8. You know, if it says in the book. Either I'll convert it over to D8. They all use D8s. Or if I can get... I'll just... I basically ignore whatever the book says about whatever hit dice they use. And I use a D8. So they're a little underpowered. Big deal. Um... That's the way I roll. Let's see, what else? Um, when you're converting over from one system to another, if I, anything other than race class type D and D games, I don't know much help. Uh, much help I can give you, other than try and retain the spirit of the thing, monster location, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't convert this into fantasy hero. I mean, it. <laughs> I'm I'm 58. I ain't got that much long left, uh, you know. In other systems like that, I know it can get really, really hairy sometimes. Um, but it's a uh, it's kind of a fine line you walk, but it can be done. But I like I said, I think I got it pretty easy just using castles and crusades. Now tunnels and trolls, that's where it becomes fun. You know, I was, I've got, I've, I converted the village of Hamlet over to Tunnels and Trolls. And uh, that was kind of, well, interesting. Getting monster ratings out of those. Very interesting. But anyway, that's my advice on trying to jerry-rig one, one, one thing into another system. I may have more on this later, I don't know. Anyway, um, tell me what you think at oldmangrognard at gmail.com. And... This reporter will see you next time. Bye.